What's up guys? Welcome again to my channel. For today's video, I will show you what is boiler, the boiler system, starting procedures, parts and mountings, boiler maintenance, including safety device test and water analysis. Before we start, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell in order to you to be updated in my next video. Boiler, an enclosed vessel where water under pressure is heated to produce steam. There are two types of boiler, the fire and water tube boiler. Fire tube boiler is one where hot gases from combustion of fuel passing through the pipe while water is circulating outside the tubes. While the water tube boiler is one where the water is passing inside the tubes while hot gases passing outside the tubes. Now, let's go to the boiler system. From the cascade tank or hot wheel where the condensate water gets stored and the boiler water feed pump takes suction from and maintain its temperature for about 80 to 85 degrees Celsius. Then, the boiler water feed pump delivers the water to the oil-fired boiler. This boiler produced steam and the steam supplied to the consumers. As you can see in the steam line diagram, the consumers are the following. The different kind of tanks, heaters, also to the galley, air conditioning and to the calorie fire and the condensate from the consumer's return goes to the condenser or drain cooler or the atmospheric condenser it is a heat exchanger which removes the latin heat from exhaust steam so that it condenses and can be pumped back into the boiler Let's go to the boiler parts and the boiler mountings. The blower. The burner or the main burner assembly. Boiler control panel. Economizer. Steam pressure gauge The surface blowdown valve and the water level gauge The water sampling valve Bottom blowdown valve Soot blower The main steam valve and the safety valve. It is used to prevent overpressure more than the design value and it will release exist steam in case the pressure continue to rise. Before we proceed to the starting procedure of the auxiliary boiler, first we must ensure that we are already cleaned our main burner. In the burner, the fuel oil which is pressurized by the fuel pump is heated to the specified temperature by the oil heater and atomized. It is mixed with air from the force draft pan and ignited by the ignition transformer to form a suitable flame in the furnace. Also clean the fuel pump filters.
And now, we are ready to start our auxiliary boiler. Number 1, make sure that the line is in the diesel oil line by confirming, checking, and opening the diesel oil inlet and outlet valve of the boiler fuel oil system. And the oil heater is on the stop position. Number 2, put the FO circulating pump to the manual. And the burner operation also to the manual. Number 3, wait for this button to light on, means that the purging is finished. Number 4, push the ignition ready button and switch the solenoid valve manual to the on position. Number 5, confirm that the flame is stable on the burner side glass. After several minutes, switch to auto or automatic. First, put to stop the FO circulating pump, also the burner operation. Then, put to auto the FO circulating pump and the burner operation to the auto, then auto on. After 1 minute, change over the DO line to the FO line. Open the fuel oil outlet valve first, then close the DO outlet valve, open the FO inlet valve, and close the DO inlet valve. And then, put the oil heater to the O2 position and the fuel oil temperature detect to the HFO if the temperature reach to the 90 to 100 or more degrees Celsius. That's all for the starting procedures of the auxiliary boiler. Now, let's go for the stopping. Let's proceed to the safety device test of the auxiliary boiler. And lastly, the water analysis. Just follow the instructions given by the supplier.
that's all guys thank you so much for watching